Could this device be a competitor to the Apple Vision Pro? If you haven't heard, there is a brand new augmented reality device just announced named the Visor. The specs of this device are actually pretty insane. As well, it being a sleek, lightweight and portable device, this could be a true contender to the spatial computing market. Let's get into it. This is a completely wireless augmented reality device by immersed and undisclosed tech giant. I'm really interested to see who that is. It's offering HD full color pass through, 4K micro OLED per eye, similar to the Apple Vision Pro. But right now, a comparable VR device would be the PSVR 2. The visor has 100 field of view. Field of view is like how far it stretches past your face. The higher equals better. The Quest 2 has an FOV of 90. PSVR 2 has an FOV of 110. And the Vive Focus 3 has a field of view of 120. The visor also has 6 degrees of freedom, which they claim helps prevent nausea. The visor's portable design. Immersed have said in their own words, this device is designed to work anywhere. They claim that it's 25% lighter than your average smartphone. And you can see via images and videos that we've just got that it does look like a slim portable device. Sleek, light, compact. These are all things that we look for in wearable tech. They say that it also comes with a back strap for excessive usage. So what can the visor do? So it's capable of working with Apple, Windows and Linux and they're claiming that this device is designed for work. Being able to project your laptop or your Mac into five different virtual screens or a giant ultra wide screen. I think it will have a lot more use cases than just work. They're claiming as well, from the moment you turn it on, it takes seconds to load your screens or screen. It runs their software immersed natively, which they're saying is the most used AR and VR work application on the planet. No comment. It's going to allow you to create an extension of your current computer. Visor's area of concerns. Starting things off, they say that it won't have an app store for developers. They may open up the SDK for individual side loading applications. And we'll get into that in a moment. Another con is that it doesn't have any IPS adjustment. Uh, glasses cannot be worn with this device so you will need to order magnetic lens inserts for your prescription. Not exactly area of concerns but the last bit of information we have on the visor is that it's coming in 2024 and pre-orders are later this year. You can sign up to pre-order your order now uh, and prices will be announced later this year. So is it a competitor to the Apple Vision Pro? Some might see them as very similar but unfortunately this device just doesn't even come close to what the Apple Vision Pro is offering. So I don't even think that these two devices are even comparable. Apple's device is natively ran on the headset and doesn't require a laptop or a machine or a Mac for the hardware. The Vision Pro offers 3D cameras, an app store, new augmented reality experience Experiences. And the Vision Pro pretty much does everything that the visor does, which the visor displays your laptop or Mac virtually using augmented reality. Now, Apple's number one selling point was, look, you can have multiple screens in your, in your room or a ginormous screen if you want. And that is what the visor is offering, an alternative to that. It's essentially a bunch of monitors or a massive monitor that you can wear on your face with a high specification to give you high quality fidelity. So my thoughts on the visor, as cool as it is, it's not your typical VR or AR experience. Neither are they claiming to be that. It's undeniable how cool that this thing looks. Light, sleek, compact with a bunch of monitors is unachievable in a suitcase. If I'm on a plane, I can have five different screens in front of me. This could also potentially work with your smartphone or your smartwatch. I can see this appealing to a market that they're claiming is for work. And right now with no pricing available, it's hard to determine how well this is going to sell. It can't be too pricey that you might as well spend the extra money on a Vision Pro. And it can't be too pricey that it's a higher priced, less qualified 
quest free. But we don't have the figures right now. We can't tell you what the price is going to be. That information is coming later this year, but the device in its own right is awesome. Cool features, cool design, definitely an untapped market if they hit the right price point. But there are other competitors in the space coming out with similar things. So we're just going to have to see how it evolves with time moving on. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to stay up to date with all of the news on Visor, please consider subscribing and let me know your thoughts on the Visor in the comment section down below. I'll be responding to all of your comments. Uh, I hope you all had an incredible day. I appreciate you. Much love and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.